I guess you could call this a cooped update. <laughs> because some of you have been asking how my chickens are doing. And it's been about four months since I posted a chicken video. Um, so I'm going to give you a little update just because um, I love my ladies and we love our patrons at the library. I thought I'd go ahead and share a little update with you. Um, I am sitting by the coop here on this cold November morning and the sun's starting to come out. Um, but we'll go ahead and take a look at the ladies and see how they're doing. Good morning, ladies. How are you? Hi, Galaxy. How are you, girl? And we got Big Red over here. Or Cherry. That's her official name. <laughs> um, the other two are hiding out over here in the corner. Hi, Lacey. And there's Midnight. So all four of the ladies are doing good. Um, the reason why I'm not taking them out of the coop and holding one of them right now is because they are going through something called molting. Um, and this is something that happens once the chickens are at least a year old or older. And a molt is when a chicken loses their feathers and replaces them with new ones. And unfortunately, this makes chickens kind of cranky. <laughs> so, Lacey here is the one that's probably molting the hardest. She's losing her feathers the fastest. And don't worry, she's healthy. She's just crabby because, well, growing new feathers can hurt. Um, sometimes. Yeah, so when a chicken molts, they lose their feathers. <laughs> and I cleaned the coop this morning and Boy, there's a lot of feathers in there. Um, this is one of Lacey's, and this is a pin feather. You can see um, because it has the uh, pin part here. Um, and the reason why molting hurts is because when those pins start to poke through for the new feathers through their skin, um, they're quite sharp, so they don't want to be picked up and held right now. Um, it, it really is uncomfortable for them, and so I don't want them to be in any pain, so I'm gonna leave them in the coop. Um, you know, it's just a natural thing that happens when the temperatures get cooler and the days get shorter, you know, not as much sunlight. They also won't lay very well when they're molting. So I'm only getting, you know, one egg a day. And, you know, they just, they just aren't their chipper cells. <laughs> but they are healthy and I'm keeping them as happy as possible. Good thing to do when chickens are molting especially if it's a hard molt, is to make sure they have a place to be where there's no drafts. We don't want them to get cold or sick um, because, you know, they're losing their feathers, so they've lost their outer layer of protection. Um, and you also want to make sure they're getting enough protein in their diet. Uh, usually you give a high protein diet to meat birds, but when a layer is losing her feathers, it is good to supplement that. So I'm going to give them a few dried mealworms. Um, to eat. They really love those as a treat. And also some uh, sunflower seeds. I'm going to give them some of those. Alright, so the ladies are enjoying the mealworms and sunflower seeds I hid for them in the coop. Big Red decided to uh, actually go do her job. Maybe we'll check on her. See if she's in the box laying. Hey, Cherry, are you in there? There she is. Everybody doing her job. Good girl. So, there you have it. A little uh, cooped up update for you. Ladies are doing fine. And I hope you all are well and happy. And, you know, maybe 2021 wasn't the best year either. Like last year. But we've got a lot of things to be thankful for. And I hope you all have a wonderful, uh, you know, holiday season coming up that you all are um, enjoying life and uh, the ladies are doing good and I wanted you to know that and I want you to uh, I hope you all come visit the library soon sometime otherwise uh, keep calm keep loving chickens and have a great day bye